Well, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna see if I can't uh, get the spark plugs out of this thing and soak it for a little bit. Uh, a few spider webs and dead spiders. Three cylinder. Peeling off right there a little bit. Other than spiders, I don't see anything, no nest or anything in here, any kind of wasp nest or nothing like that. But a bunch of old dead spiders. Lots of dead dead spiders. Okay. Probably a live mama spider in there somewhere. Let's see what size that is. Huh. First guess. 13. Big one. Heart plugs are probably okay. They're not burn or anything. Got the uh, NGK spark plugs in it. Just a little bit of rust on the outside of the top one. Nothing, nothing bad. All right, I'm gonna go get some uh, UV blaster and let it soak for just a little bit. Well, I've got three, three almost empty cans. I'm gonna probably have to go to the store and get some.
three cans down, but I think it might be enough. We'll see. I already know that it wasn't close up, but I'm just trying to lubricate it a little bit so I don't, you know, crank it dry. Uh, I'll, I'll turn that over after it sits for, I'm gonna put spark plugs back in it loose just to keep moisture out and trash out. But before I try to turn the engine over, I'll pull those spark plugs out and I'll turn the engine over to blow that oil out in the excess oil that's still in there that had to soak down through around the rings. Um, you don't wanna try to crank it against that uh, fluid in there. Um, so you just basically turn it over a few times and it'll blow that little residual oil right out and put spark blows back in it. Or actually, I'm gonna check the compression before I uh, try to crank it. Just so I kinda hope know what I got. If you got good, good even compression, um, then you can almost always get on the run. Unless there's some kind of electrical electronic problem or something, coil pack or something. If you got good compression, you got something to work with. So these two boats, I guess you would call them cousins. I think they were uh, the two brothers that had the two companies, McKee Craft and the Henry A. I think they were both McKees. I think they were akin to the Boston Whaler guys too, maybe, maybe three brothers. I may have all that wrong, but anyway, I think I, I think that's right, that they were brothers that had the two, two companies. So, like I say, cousins. Okay, so it definitely will spin over. I've got the spark plugs out of it where I had it soaking. Um, I just hot wired the starter to spin it over to get that oil out. Um, I don't have the key for it. I, nobody could find the key for it, so I've got to change the ignition switch on it. Well, I'm gonna try to crank it um, for the first time. If it fires up, it's probably gonna smoke for a little bit because I had the oil soaking on the in the cylinders. So you can see the puff of smoke there. That's that uh, PB blaster burning off, but it did fire. That's a good thing.